Adrian Marsh Marty, signing in. A, my program now is spoken to part 8, part 9, I mean, of the C++ and SFML 2D platform tutorial series. So, the last tutorial we covered was getting the player to stop moving if the, play the user is not clicking any keys on the keyboard. So, what we're going to be covering in this tutorial is we're going to be actually loading up an image into our file, into our code, I should say, and then we're going to turn that image into a sprite and then display that sprite on the screen. So, go to over to your... C++ and SFML 2D platform project file and to open up a code blocks project file it's really easy all you gotta do is just double click on the project file here we go ah there we go begin the coding countdown timer a enter and the reason I have this countdown timer here going in the corner all the time is well basically this way I'm not gonna be rambling on for hours here and there else oh I was rambling on for hours because I actually like time flies when I'm doing these tutorials because I really do love the, doing these tutorials because I mean, anything you do with code for me is awesome fun. All right, so this is where I left the code from the last tutorial. So basically, we we made an if statement here, detecting if the player is moving left or right. Got that all working. So now we're going to want to do is we're going to create an image. So to create that image, go over to an image editor. So that can be GIMP. MS Paint works fine for now as well. And Paint.net works great too. So there's also Photoshop. So any of those works, just basically go to something that you can edit an image with. So to get to MS Paint, which is on any standard Windows machine, all you have to do is go to the Windows button, click it, and for Windows 10 at least, scroll all the way to the bottom, and there'll be Accessories and Paint. Good to go. Alright, and then what we're going to want to do is we're going to go File, and then Properties, and set your image to a 50 by 50 square, like so. Alrighty, then I'm going to zoom in way into here. And what we're going to want to do is just basically make a dumb looking squiggle, or something that's really dumb. So basically, I'm not focusing on artwork here. I mean, this snail, well, it's supposed to be a snail, but it's kind of looking like a rock. But basically, I'm just focusing on how to actually load a sprite into a, an image into SFML. And then we're going to go File, and then you're going to Save As. So with SFML, you can load a PNG, JPEG, BMP, or GIF picture. It doesn't really matter because SFML is great. It's very... It's very multi-platform and it can load tons of different image files. So for now, we're going to just go on with the PNG because we're not going to need the infinite image quality of the JPEG picture because the, basically the plan for this project is going to be a pixelated look. So the pixelated look, a PNG will do just fine. So then go over to your C++ 2D platform or project um, folder and then inside of here what you're going to do is right click and what we're going to do is create a new folder. Here we go. New folder and we're we're going to name this folder here data data good to go and inside that data folder we're going to create a subfolder and we're going to call this one here images and this is where we're going to want to store all of our images so in here we're going to name this image snail and because well it is a snail so we should name it what it is hit save and good to go so no, so now what we want to do here is go again to your c++ to the platform project file not project file, but project folder, and then we're going to copy the data folder, control C, into bin and debug, and paste it into there. Good to go. So now that's out of the way, so now what we have to do is go into main.cpp, go again into code blocks, and now to now let's actually load the image. So go into your main function, into main, and then somewhere in the main function, we can pop it right after we load up the player class, we can load up our image. So to load up an image, yeah, all you have to do is type texture with a capital texture. There you go. And then type the, so what this here is loading up a class, which is texture. And now it's going to create an object. So this object, we can create it to snail texture. And this way, we're not going to forget. I mean, hey, what was texture? There we go. Snail texture. Add a semicolon to the end of that. And then go snail texture dot, dot load from file load from file and this is, then inside those two parameters you're going to give it open up a string inside the string type the full path from the the project file folder to the actual image so our my path is data data and then forward slash when I'm going to a new folder and then side data it's images and then inside images it's snail and that's it snail and be sure you include the extension so the extension for this is .png because I'm using a PNG file. If you're using a JPEG file, it'll go with JP, J, uh, JPNG, I think it is. But it'll, it'll, it'll tell you when you save it and it'll tell you what your format is. And from there, then we, all we have to do is type sprite with a capital S sprite. So this is loading the sprite class of SFML at its base. 
And then if you type, now I'll create in your object, which you can name whatever you want. So we're going to name this here, snail object. And an abbreviation that is commonly used for object is, o is OBJ, just like that. And people commonly recognize that as object. So we're going to name this snail object, open up those two parameters, give it some parameters. And the parameter is going to be the texture. So we're going to copy that texture name and we're going to give it that parameter. Be sure you end that line with a semicolon, which I can see I missed that semicolon there. So want to add that. There we go. And now it's loading the image. So what we're going to want to do is actually draw the image. So I'll go into the, again, we're inside the main function and go into the while app dot is open loop. So in there, after the app dot clear, we're going to want to add something more to do with app and that's app, then add dot draw. So that's, that's accessing the dot draw function. Give it some parameters and those parameters are going to be the sprite that you want to draw. So the sprite we're going to want to draw here is going to be snail, snail, object, uh, snails, what do we name it? Actually, we should name this here snail sprite. This way we're going to knock it because it is a sprite. Now, this here turns that texture into a sprite that has a detectable square. So a snail sprite, and if we type snail sprite into here, sprite. And then if we add a semicolon to the end of that, pile and run, we should be 100% error free, showing a gibble looking, yet yeah, awesome snail on the screen. Yeah, yep, we've got a gibble looking, yet yeah, awesome snail on the screen. So now to actually move that snail on the screen, we, uh, all you have to do is type the name of your sprite. So that's our, the name of our sna sprite is snail sprite, sprite, and then add dot move, and then open up some parameters, and inside those parameters type vector, Vector and again, what a vector is as two points. So it's going our the two points of our vector is going to be the x flaw is going to be the x position and the y position. So go vector and then two f. So that means it's More two time vector is and up. times up. More time is We're almost done this line. Might as well just finish the line and then open up some parameters in there. And then all which we're going to want to do is that player object. So we're going to access the player object variable. So player object. There we go object and then add dot because the dot is the extension for a, a variable inside the player object object so and then we're going to go with first we're going to go with x velocity and then we're going to go add a comma to that and then we're going to want to go with whoops the y velocity so we can just copy this here to help speed things up because i mean typing I, I enjoy typing but copy and pasting is a lot faster add y velocity to that now if you compile and write we should be 100% error free, except for that one little semicolon. The running joke about finding that missed semicolon in C++ being like finding a needle in a haystack, that's bullcrap. More like finding some hay in a needle sack if you ask me. But no issue, just add that semicolon. And now, without further ado, 100% error free, hopefully. All right, so we've got little Mr. Blue Snail moving across the screen. He's moving a little bit fast. So what we're gonna do, so we're going to want to go into get go up to the player class and then set that five here set it to one for now because i mean five that's a little fast man there we go so now if we compile and run it now we should have a snail that's i mean snails are slow snails aren't zipping around at that pace are they i mean no snail but then again this is a blue snail so i mean how do we know that blue snails aren't zipping around like that fast if i'm moving to the right and then i stop he stops but we did not do that for up and down because, again, up and down is going to be compromised by gravity. So we're not going to have to worry about that. But for right and left anyways, he's he moves when he wants and he stops moving when we don't want him to move. So there we go. We got Mr. Blue Snail here scooting across the screen at a fairly fast pace. So I hope you guys all enjoyed this tutorial. If you guys have any questions or comments about SFML or C++, leave that down in the comment section. Be sure to leave a like before you leave. And if we guys help you out and you guys enjoy it, be sure to subscribe as well. I'll be seeing you tomorrow, whenever tech news breaks. Marshmallow.